we want justice for Julius. Uh, my name is Jimmy Lawson from Oklahoma City. I'm a longtime close friend with Julius Jones. Crazy Liberty from North Island, USA. My name is uh, Andre Hurd from Oklahoma City. Uh, I went to John Marshall High School. Julius was my, uh, my teammate on the basketball team. I was a freshman when he was a uh, senior. I'm supporting him. We've been behind him since day one. I grew up with him. Played baseball, football, everything. Oh, man, known him since elementary school. Wow. Cool. I'm here for uh, my I teammate, will. my brother. Teammate, Don. as in, what, y'all used to hoop together? Or? High school. Right on. Right. I'm Daly, I'm from Oklahoma City. Okay. I'm Cameron from Oklahoma City. I'm Renee Norwood, I'm from Oklahoma City. My name is Eddie Dana, born and raised in Oklahoma City. I'm Chris Lasinski, born and raised in Oklahoma. I went to John Marshall, that's my brother. He went to John Marshall, he's in my two mini Dre, D-E-R-R-E, -E, last name is Gables, G-A-B-L-E-S, Oklahoma City. It's my son's birthday. Okay, and, and birthday boy, what's your name and how old are you? My name is Andrew Lasinski and I'm 13 years old. Well, happy birthday, brother. We were going to throw him a birthday party today, but he said he'd rather sacrifice his one and only 13th birthday party for Julius's one and only life. Wow. Yeah. That's really indeed. cool, man. And, and most importantly about that is that on your birthday, you're thinking about somebody else. Exactly. So that really speaks volumes to who you are and, and, and how, how your parents are raising you. Exactly. Okay? So that's, I'm really proud to, to, to even be talking to you guys today. That's awesome, man. Dana, born and raised Oklahoma City. I'm Anthony R. Douglas, President for the State of Oklahoma NAACP, member of the National Board of Directors NAACP. Richard and Barbara Garrett from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. In Kim House, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, we are here at the State Capitol right now. We're doing a free Julius Jones rally. Uh, his store has been premiered on ABC Last Defense. Uh, it's, getting, it's getting crazy love from the marketplace, and we're here to keep that momentum going. Uh, the name of the game for the day is to allow people to see uh, how unity can play a difference uh, in this case. Personally, I've been knowing uh, Jewish family all my life. His mother and the whole Davis family, been knowing them all my life. I've been knowing them since I was a little boy. I don't, I don't remember not knowing them. So. That's my second cousin. I never knew him. He been he been in jail ever since I was born. So I just my family. Well, I am the director of communications for the NAACP State Conference under the leadership of Anthony R. Douglas. He is the president, and I'm out here doing support. We're giving the NAACP as much awareness and what it does in supporting and standing by those that, whether they've been offended or discriminated against, or if they're fighting for justice, we're there for you, the NAACP. Well, I was four when it happened, and um, this is hearing about that here because this is my cousin, and it's honestly just learning about it, it's just a really sad, tragic situation, and it's just something that weighs on us. It was, it was a time in the era in Oklahoma City where, you know, we as uh, African-American males uh, we really couldn't go into this area called Edmond, Oklahoma. So at that time, there was a lot of racial tension. And because of that particular culture, you had a white gentleman that happened to be killed by a black suspect. Uh, and the city kind of just blew that up. Uh, so as that case went to trial, there was a, a strong ambiance about uh, racial tension. And the jurors and the Def uh, defendants and prosecution were really hammering the fact that it was white versus black uh, and the reality is really about right and wrong uh, and Julius Jones simply did not commit that crime. Well one of the things I have to say we have to remember that Oklahoma back in the, has always been known in certain towns as the, what we call the sundown town and we had signs that say nigga be out of town before sundown so when we look at when the year these towns was finally taken down and it's, when this case had happened, we looked at also, as I was brought in on the case review, it that the, most of the, all the African American jury was uh, taken off the jury. There was no African American jury. So we looked at this being a prominent white businessman from Edmond, Oklahoma. For those of us who know Oklahoma from back in the days in the 70s, and even the 80s and 90s, we realized that even today, racism is still alive and well in Oklahoma, even though we may not want to talk about it. But so when we got the conviction, we know that there was a lot of loopholes. When you had a, uh, a, the words of Julius Jones himself, as one police officer took his handcuff off and say, run, nigga. And I'm going to use the N word. I'm not going to uh, baby this thing up. And they told him to run, nigga. So even with the police officer, it was a boss trial. We know that at the time, 
it was only evident that the DAs then wanted to get a conviction. They didn't care who they convicted, just as long as they got a conviction. So that's some of the things that we're looking at. Also, we looked at some of the jury and made the statement that we should take the nigga out back and, and shoot him. It's just you see stuff like this happening too often and it's time that somebody gets help. They just need to get their facts, get the facts straight so they won't be killing the innocent man. And then seeing this just going like that in the system, I just not here, but around the, around the globe. You know what I'm saying? Innocent people getting killed and they getting a fair trial. Based on what we saw in the last defense, Julius was totally just set aside and not given the opportunity to defend himself. And they ignored all kind of obvious evidence that it was not him. And I just truly believe that the police officers and the lawyers, and they just wanted to get somebody. They weren't interested in solving the case. They were just wanting to get some black man, one black man, to go down for that. So I think it was a total injustice on behalf of Julius. He should have had the opportunity to speak for himself, and the lawyers could have done a, a much better job of representing him. Just knowing that this has happened to him, it hurts, and finally that we've got a group of people to get out here to support him and get him off this, because just from day one, you knew it wasn't him. Just, the person he was and, and his family, and, and it was never true. We all know that, the community knows that, even the court system knows that. It's gonna get fixed. And my brother, who was a good friend with one of the Davises, uh, informed us about the show, The Last Defense. We've been following it closely and it just broke my heart to know that I, I vaguely remember the trial when all that happened. And my brother reminded me of what, what was going on and what had happened back then. I just felt the need to come to the rally and show my support. And of course, been praying for him and hoping for the best for Julius. We've seen the uh, the kind of the, the racialized remarks uh, that took place throughout the trial. You mean when they used nigger? Yes, as, okay. and, and more than once. More than once. Um, You're not going to get the ni dot dot stuff from me. You're going to get real talk. So go ahead. Absolutely, and, and, and you know, in regards to that, how do you feel? that the nature of the case, how was it handled, and how do you think it should be rectified? Well, I think everybody out here um, has their own opinion um, concerning the outcome of Julius Jones' case. One of the reasons is, is that, you know, you have a, you, everybody has a loved one in their family that they can relate to in some form or fashion, or they know someone who has been a victim of injustice. So this is just, an, just a similar situation of circumstances that people are standing on that they believe that if we get it in front of the right decision makers there can be a change not just for Julius Jones but for anyone that's facing something like Mr. Jones. One of the things that I ask for the voting public to do we must get on jury. We cannot keep squelching and running from a jury. When it's our time to be on jury let's get on jury to do the right thing. We don't want to just run away from a jury just because we don't feel that $70 or $35 an hour is worth our time. Let's get on jury so we can make sure that people don't wind up in this situation and everyone can receive a fair trial. Right here is where it all Come out and vote. Because if you don't vote, how can you? Let me put it to you like this. Do not complain about what you permit. Simple as that. You keep your message new, next, and now. We come out here, you see this happening right now. This isn't, this is real time, folks. You gotta get involved. You have to engage. Because if you don't, how do you expect change? It's not gonna happen. You can get on your knees and pray, but guess what? Even after you pray, you got to get off your knees and do something about that prayer. Money don't fall off leaves and neither does prayer action. So we have to be that action. And I always tell people consistently, do not complain about what you permit. Get out there and vote. You know, I think we just have to exhaust all legal remedies with respect to the appeals process um, with this matter. Um, as far as race is concerned, um, you know, you can't really change people's hearts. But I think one major, major piece of his case is that, you know, you look at jury selection, you look at the jury in that case. Um, I think black people need to, <laughs> black people need to make an effort to try to stay on juries. Um, I understand that, you know, the money, the per diem that they give you is not very high and it, it affects you um, in a negative way financially if you sit on a jury for a week and sometimes more. However, um, you know, it's been said that jury service is the highest form 
of um, civil service. And um, I think it's very important, especially for people in our community, to make those juries actually adequately represent what the community looks like. And oftentimes, um, that's just not the case. I'm a criminal defense lawyer, and I've sat on several trials involving um, people of color that didn't include a person of color on the jury. Voters can be informed. Um, um, I actually happen to be a political candidate. I'm running for Oklahoma House District 99 right now. And I encourage all voters to go out, research the candidates, and make sure we're voting for the people that have the most experience and the most ability to come down here and fight for your rights at the Capitol. Uh, yeah, we've got some handouts today. It's got some good contact information on those handouts where they can write letters, make phone calls uh, to the state capitol and some of the other judicial uh, branches here in Oklahoma. So yes. I encourage everybody that's in the rally, grab one, take advantage of the context, and let's get that word out to get Julia Jones back home. Yeah, they got to educate themselves more with the communities and the, sit and the people that's in them. They need, to, they need to think more of an open heart. They say justice is blind, but they're not thinking of the hearts. That's why Julius is where he's at now. Because if they actually looked at everything and did what they're supposed to do, and, that, and his defense team was on the latest team and they were going through everything they needed to do and process the DNA on that bandana, I'm pretty sure that would have just got everything fixed. But just through the whole trial process, it was just, it, Julius had no chance. And it's not. There's ways they can do to help with this situation and the bigger picture for anybody else to go through this. They can vote, get involved with politics, they can go out and just reach out to the community, reach out to churches, they can just reach out and help them hand. There's so many things you can do just because there's so much wrong with the world. Uh, yes, I'm a registered voter, been a registered voter since I was 18 years old. And it's very important to register to vote. And more important than that is to actively vote. And actively see calls that you participate in. Whether it be through your church, through your organization, uh, through your family, just like today, a lot of family here, a lot of people knew the family. Just uh, exercise your right. If you're not registered, register. And please, please vote. And read and read the news. Get on social media. Read, read what's going on on the internet. You'd be surprised how much, how much information you can gather, where you can inform, where you have, where you can make an, an informed decision and an informed opinion about this situation, especially about this situation. So I hope you're proud of both. Well, the important thing is justice. And when we say justice in 2018, what does that mean? To me, and I'm only speaking for myself, on behalf of the, the state conference president, NAACP, Anthony R. Douglas, the president, we have talked about this case for quite some time. And when we talk justice behind the closed doors, when there's no one listening, true justice, it creates a platform where there's no more harm done. And that's the goal with the NAACP. We don't want to see any further harm done to the Julius Jones family, Mr. Jones himself, or anyone else that may be facing such a situation as this. Well, I got just thank, uh, thankful. There's always uh, somebody good and proud of the bad people. And uh, like I said, you can't beat them, join them. So any more black people on, on the law force and things like that, just get out there and just be, become those good people. Because there's always going to be those bad people in the, in the place of power. But if we could just keep adding people of color to the system, then we could come a better place. Honestly, I mean, we've seen the facts. You know, it's, it's up to us as, as a whole, as a group, to try to get out here and make our voices heard, man, so we can so we can get our brother a new trial, man, and bring him home. He, he's an innocent man. You know, he's done enough time behind bars. We're trying to get him back. I mean, just get involved. It's like there's things happening, like, all the time that you can get involved in. You just got to be able to look for it. I would like for you all to look closely at this case and see that this young man has served 20 years for somebody else's crime and that whoever's out there who has anything to do with this, I feel like you should speak up. This is an injustice to Julius and he deserves his freedom. They can do a lot. We can, they can decide whether we get a new trial or not. You know, this last offense has brought 
supreme hope for Julius Jones. Over the past two and a half weeks, uh, his voice is sounding positive and good. He's excited that people have finally had a chance to see the real story. You know, he's been in jail for 19 years, so over the past 19 years, he's really been in this bubble of can people really hear the truth about what really happened in my case? So thank God for ABC Network. They came in, did the story. It's been publicized nationally. So going forward, they've got some good things going on in the court system right now on his behalf. So, man, we are really hopeful that Julius is going to be coming home soon. Well, actually, what we're hoping for is that they release him all together. Let's not put him through another retrial. Let's look at the evidence. One of the things that I will be doing is calling on the DA to turn over the file what he's got to the prosecutors in the documents because there's a lot of evidence that has not been turned over and even though the federal prosecutor requested them they have been dragging their feet a number responses to get those things so that's one of the things that we're saying if you're not going to turn over the evidence and give him a fair trial release him from prison absolutely let's get him off a of death row and that's that's why i stand with as on behalf of the oklahoma state and double because what the information that we received on tv we had to be Blind, crippled, crazy. It, it didn't add up, and um, I felt that I need to come out and support him and his family just to let him know that we believe that he is innocent. We believe that he was not fairly represented, and uh, was not. Also, the jury was prejudiced. It was obvious, and so I came out just to let the family know that we believe that he will come home one day oh, and yes. the rest of his no life about that. be That's free. Happen. We need to abolish the death penalty. Just, people are on there that we, I'm, they say, uh, God says eye for an eye. You let God make that decision. We're not the ones that make that decision. We put them where they need to be and continue off from there. Um, again, we need to get out and vote. And also, you know, we need to, you know, we also got to think about the future, you know. If we take care of our teachers and stuff, we get more education out there. Like for my kids here, you know, I'm raising them right to just think with a caring heart and open heart. And especially when it comes to voting, you need to have an open heart on that as well. But a lot of people aren't thinking that. They think it just because of a D or an R next to the name, that's how they got to vote. They need to vote with common sense. Well, of course, the goal is is to get this man exonerated, Absolutely. and he can go home and be at home with his loved ones and be loved on. Um, in the process, there's a lot of things that need to be done. This is just the beginning of what actress and Oscar, you know, winner Viola Davis has created a platform and an awareness for individuals that may not have a voice. So her step forward in taking this on has only given us the inspiration through the NAACP to jump on board as well, which we need support still from other organizations just like ours that will support injustices and make sure it gets in front of the decision makers so the change can be made, sir. You know, man, these systems be crooked, man, you know, and, and, and I need them to do whatever they can do or whatever they have to do to try to make sure that we get these systems straight, you know. I mean, the system is broken, and, you know, sometimes they get it right, but a lot of times they get it wrong. We don't need them getting it wrong. It's a total injustice. I think that ju the uh, judicial system should look at the cases fairly without considering race. I think that they should get people to represent people like Julius a lot better than what he's had in the past. This is a judicial matter. This is a, a matter for the courts. Maybe we would have a situation, I mean, the, the way that his case has um, garnered so much attention, um, not just locally but nationally. Um, he, he, he definitely um, be looking at having a better legal team um, defending him this year around. He wouldn't have the public defender's office, which is no, no slight to the public defender's office, but they usually have heavy caseloads and they don't have the resources that um, most pro that many private lawyers have. Hey, Oklahoma, you are watching Ask the People. 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 You are, you are watching, watching Ask the, the People. You are watching Ask the People. Hey, you're watching Ask the People. You are watching Ask the People. Julius, I want to make sure you know that the Oklahoma State the NAACP and the National NAACP, we stand in her in support of you. We are here for Julius Jones. We are here for Julius Jones. And I am here for Julius Jones. I'm here for Julius Jones. 
Make sure you keep your head up, man. man. We wish you to come home, man. Much love. We praying for you and your family. Juju, I love you, bro. We trying to do our best to get you home, man. We see you soon. We love you. We are here for Julius Jones. 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 We love you, brother.